Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here and uh, today we're hanging out with Guapo and Lola. What up? What up? Woo woo! T Soto 247, thanks for joining me live. Uh, we're going to bring these guys out, let them walk around the pond. I'll answer questions today. We'll watch the We'll watch the reptiles be reptiles. What's up, Cameron 9T? What's up, Alexander? What's up? How are you guys all doing? Thanks for joining me. Uh, beautiful day. We had a little thunderstorms, but they're gone now. So I thought, why not bring out the reptiles? Let's bring Guapo and Lola out. And I can also kind of talk to you a little bit about, uh, well, as you can see, Guapo is relieving himself right there. But I wanted to talk about how Guapo's doing. You guys will be able to see see that he's made a full recovery and he is now a happy boy and so I just figured let's bring this good looking Lola out as well and get these animals some exercise and let them nibble around some of the plants that are hanging around the good old recreation pond. I'm going to go move on this side so we get some nice sunlight from them and they're probably going to take in that sunlight and bask for a little bit and then they'll be doing their thing. So pretty pretty cool. That's a lizard eye view right there. I'm going to lay down all right so how are you guys all doing what's doing uh elliot white's looking for fat clyde fat clyde somewhere in the good old pond in the main pond um i don't know if you guys care but there's some iguana poop happening right there uh kate will not be happy about that because unfortunately um you know who wants poop on the deck uh for me not a big deal i'll just spray it off or i'll actually just go get a napkin and pick it up as a matter of fact you know what i'll do I'll just put these children's to work right now. Let's see. Oh, look, there's Max. There's Max the cat. Hey, Max, meow. Um, hold on one second. Hey, so for Leo, could you get me a paper towel, please? Guapo made a big poopies. Thanks, Glenn. What's going on, brother? Hello. Thanks. Hey, Soph saying hello to everybody. She's my handy dandy Sophia. She loves the animals. She always helps me out. Uh, we get a little nap. Oh, you were going to get it? Ah, no worries, man. You drove home. Don't tell anyone, but I let Leo drive home from school today. You know, you gotta have fun. When I was a little kid, my dad let me steer the steering wheel. Gotta get these kids ready. She's eating some weeds. <laughs> How cool is that? She's my weeder. We'll just let her do that. This way I don't have to spray. And here's a big old turd. Now let's see how good these kids are. I wonder if I give them the poop, will they uh, throw it away? I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's just take this poop and we'll place it over here and uh, we can get back to the uh, job at hand, which is talking to you folks. Uh, thank you, Rainy. I appreciate your comment and watching along the channel. Uh, Guapo and Lola are Cuban rock iguanas. For those of you who are not sure of what they are, they're herbivores, but they will sometimes eat crabs and eggs and things like that. Most herbivores will make use of some animal protein if it comes across them easily. Um, I've also seen these guys grab uh, small rodents from time to time, but basically these guys are herbivores. B Hutch 216, what up? Can't hang around a watch today, but want to drop by and send some love. FYI, maybe turn up the gain on the mic. Last few weeks it's been on the quiet side. Keep up the good work. Thank you, brother. Uh, I don't know if that'll do it, but um, let's just turn the volume up. Can you guys hear me good right now? I hope you can. Oh, I get you. Here we go. Yo, yo, yo. What up, people? Hope you guys can hear. Uh, anyway, there you go. Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation. What's up, Australia? Uh, you got some cool lizards as well. All right, Casey, I think I fixed it. There goes little Lola over there. She's heading over that way. He's over this way. These two spend a lot of time together. But again, I wanted to show you guys, Guapo is moving around very nicely without any issues. So that's all just good news. And again, it's all about getting these animals to the vet. As soon as you notice a problem, Paying attention to the animals, very, very important, as you can imagine. So very happy because I don't know what I would have done if Guapo got himself injured in a way that couldn't be fixed. I really get nervous because I love this lizard. Um, all right. So very cool, Pat. I'm glad, Pat Doherty. Uh, very cool that you got to check out the live chat. I like to do certain things here by bringing some of the animals out so we can kind of learn about them, hang out with them, and then I can just hang out with you folks. Uh, Lumpy is doing much better. Um, I will have more updates on him as time passes on. Um, he has walked around quite a bit yesterday. Uh, maybe we'll be able to go over there. I don't know. I want to keep my eyes on these two because I don't want them to wander off and I wouldn't want any bird of prey to kind of, um, you know, swoop down and get them. Uh, not that I think we have any hawks large enough to take these guys, but I wouldn't want to risk it. So uh, right now I just love how the lizards are eating. They're eating some of these little weeds. I think that's very cool. Uh, there's Lola. Now she's going to poop. 
I, I, what is it with the uh, lizards coming out and pooping on my deck? I just don't get it. How cool would it be to live in a place where these animals are native? Like if you're in Cuba and this was your backyard and you just had a bunch of these lizards running around, I think that would be amazing. Uh, very, very cool. Um, something else interesting that happened this week, everybody, is if you remember a few months back, we had that green iguana and she laid eggs somewhere on the property. I saw her. She was actually just over across the pond in that area. Oh man, she was just eating weeds and stuff like that. And as soon as she saw me, she hauled butt over the wetland and then jumped into the pond from the pylon. So it was pretty cool. So um, that lizard is still obviously hanging around here. How cool is it right now though, that these guys are just doing what they want. Uh, I just saw something, let's read that. Uh, Justin Bernard, my iguana only seems to want to eat carrots and cucumbers, nothing else. Is that healthy? What should I do? It's um, definitely, you got to switch up the diet. What I would do is I would take those carrots and cucumber, get a food processor or get yourself a good, you know, chef knife and I would chop them up real good and I would add in other foods that those animals need to eat. Uh, I'd mix it all in together and then slowly remove the cucumber and remove the carrot until they're eating the other foods. Very important guys, uh, you don't want them to get stuck on one food because uh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work as far as health long term, okay? So very important. So heed my advice, man. Uh, let's see, someone else uh, gave us a little, I want to do a little shout out. Raw name, what up? Love your iguanas. My dad had a very feisty untamed rescue iguana as a kid that would tail whip like mad. Yeah, well, I've been fortunate with these two Cuban rocks um, because these guys here I've had since they were hatchlings, uh, since August of 2004. And they were young and kind of wild and crazy kids. But as you can see, uh, we've definitely tamed them up. You can see here Guapo has no problem with me reaching over and grabbing them. And even that thumbnail that I used, that was Lola and Guapo on my shoulder as I walked them over from their enclosure. So it's just about time and patience and allowing the animals to get used to you. Uh, let's see, we are fuller. Thank you for your donation. Have I ever seen a sulcata eat their own poop? Yes, I have. In fact, many tortoises will do that. Um, and in, uh, I don't know if you've seen some of my videos where tortoises lay eggs, but a lot of times tortoises will defecate into the egg chamber. Now, why are they doing that? Two reasons. Uh, one is the moisture from their feces helps keep that nest chamber nice and humid uh, for a little while. And the other reason is when the babies hatch, they'll nibble on the poop. And what that does is it inoculates the babies with the bacteria that help them to break down cellulose and other plant materials. So it's actually perfectly normal. And as adults, sometimes they'll re-inoculate themselves by eating poop. Um, so there you have it. Uh, not something that humans do, but something that if you're a tortoise, it's something that you do from time to time to keep your gut biome nice and healthy. Think of it as kind of probiotics for your reptile. Okay, we have another uh, person that needs to get a shout out here. Let's see. Uh, Darren S., thank you. Love the videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, and thank you for your support. Um, there is our gal Lola. She's looking pretty... Uh, pretty regal, if I don't say so myself. And just behind her, there's guaps. And these guys are just enjoying themselves right now. Hope you guys can hear me. Uh, we have some African cichlids in this pond, um, and it's really cool. Uh, Conley Collection Universe, I'm sure there are other animals that will, um, there's an actual term. Someone can Google that for me right now. I think it's, uh, what is it, Fago? Oh man, something phago, ophagus, fa, fa, oh, what is the term when you eat poop? Someone Google that right now, please. Google what is the scientific term for an animal that will eat feces, okay? And then uh, just throw it up and we'll all learn something. Um, very cool. So uh, yeah, man, can you do a video on the black spiny tail iguana? I'd love to. Uh, in fact, I was just talking about my good buddy, Ty Park today, and Ty, has a bunch of those centinosaurs. I believe it's Simulus. And um, I would love to do videos with him again. So I'll be heading over there soon. Uh, there's my foot. I'm just laying down here on the ground with uh, Wake Copro Fagus. That's it. That's it. I knew it. You guys are awesome. See that? Uh, Copo Fagus. Yeah, something like that. Very, very cool. You guys are awesome. 
coprophagia. All right, guys, keep that in your uh, keep that in your vocabulary, okay? So instead of calling someone a bleep eater, just call them a copophagus. <laughs> ah, you copophagus. That's pretty good, right? So we can educate ourselves and uh, raise our intellect collectively. I think that's really good. Uh, very, very cool. Um, thank you guys for helping me out. I knew it was a term that I forgot. Uh, there's so many things I forget over the great expanse of time, and it's nice to be reminded of them here. Uh, Zion, Eli, Ellie, I believe you might be my biggest fan. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Dee Dee, thanks for loving the channel. Hope you guys all enjoy it. We're just having fun here, trying to learn, trying to get out the mission of, uh, you know, get people to enjoy these animals and learn about them and show everybody how they're not to be feared, they're to be respected. Coprophagus is someone that eats poop. We still use that word in Greece. Yes, and I'm sure it has its roots in the Greek and Latin languages. Thank you very much, uh, Nicholas Moriete. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I am, it's all Greek to me, and I just don't know how to speak that. You have a lot of letters in that word there, buddy. But thank you. Um, so very, very cool. Uh, Darwin is doing well, Dalek 00, very cool. Uh, when I was six years old, MMB 112009, I got my very first turtle. So I was six years old. Uh, Crock Pond update, just talked with our friends at Aquascape today, my friend Ed Blue. And if you guys don't know it, Ed from Aquascape actually has his own YouTube channel called Ed the Pond Professor. Go check it out on YouTube, the Pond Professor. Um, and we'll be doing stuff this winter with that channel, with Ed and Aquascape. And these guys are gonna be really fun. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna build the crock ponds. So uh, ready for that, getting excited. Uh, in the meantime, these guys are just enjoying the pond side chat that we're having right now. So um, there you go. Uh, let's see, are iguanas hard to care for? They can be if you don't have the space. Um, I would recommend um, not getting an iguana unless you had a very large enclosure. Uh, and you had uh, proper space. Um, they're not difficult if you live in Florida, you know, obviously the sun and everything else. These are animals that really, really enjoy high intensity basking. Are you eating my birds of paradise? Hey, wait a minute. Come on, man. That's a new spread. Oh man, I guess I'll sacrifice it for, for you, buddy. Um, yeah, so, you know, they, they're a very intense basker. They really need that UVB. They love the high humidity, depending on the species. These guys here can tolerate the high humidity. They're from Cuba, but they actually live in what you would call xeric uh, environments, more drier habitat, scrub brush, things like that. So these particular iguanas don't really need to be misted too much. They just need fresh water and so on. But um, green iguanas and some of the other Central American iguanas are definitely going to need a bunch more uh, humidity and misting as they are more of a rainforest animal from time to time. Uh, very cool, huh? So space, diet, another important thing, variety, lots of greens here as you can see. I allow these guys to come out and kind of do their browsing. Uh, it supplements their diet. They are very good. They don't run away. So I trust these animals. It's been just years of working with these two. So I trust them and it's awesome. Uh, so there you go. All right, let's see. Uh, dang, he's mean. He's eating all my plants. Yes, he is. He is fishy boy 84. Uh, do I have any rhino iguana for sale? Not yet, but I did get 11 eggs and they are all still viable. Um, they are incubating right now in the incubator, so I'll have baby rhinos in about a month. So I'm excited about that. And you, here, check, do you see how she's cocked her head over to the side, guys? Check it out. Up there, vultures. So birds flying up there. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. There's some vultures. But as soon as they passed over, she cocked her eyes up. Now, how did she see them? Um, for those of you who are reptile nerds, probably already know this. But for those of you who may not know, let's look at something. You see the scale right there? That's their third eye, and that eye helps them figure out if they're too hot or too cool, and it helps them thermoregulate. But guess what? It is, in fact, an eye. It's called the pineal eye. And so the pineal eye is uh, basically uh, another way, and in another sense, they can sense light and dark. So when something flies overhead, 
that eye is sensitive enough for them to register that right to their brain and she just kind of kicked her eyes up to make sure it wasn't anything that was going to eat them. They're the vultures up there. Vultures, man. I don't know which ones they are. I think they're brown vultures. I have no idea. So don't quote me on that. But uh, anyhow, good times, right? So I love, I, I just love how these guys are just eating some of this dollar grass and some of the weeds. Um, really nice. So it's fun to let them out and it's fun to do lives with you folks to where we can learn about some of the animals that I keep here at camp. Uh, very, very cool. Yeah, all lizards have, uh, have third eyes, man. Pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. So there you have it. Let's see, any other questions? Uh, why are their eyes red, Fishy Boy 084? That's two questions from you, man. You got lucky. Uh, I saw two of your questions. Uh, you see, I moved behind them. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, I don't know why Guapo's eyes are red. Um, I just think that's the color of his eyes. Um, I am colorblind myself, but they just have the best eyes ever, man. Look at this. Is this not fun, everybody? Uh, Brandon, no, turtles do not have a third eye. And I want to send a shout out to Bram High. Uh, very cool. Uh, Jason Lochner, thank you so much uh, for your donation. Glad you caught alive. Keep up the good work, Ken, and wish you the best. Thank you so much, Jason. Um, and for those of you you hear that? There was a car doing like a burnout. That's weird. That's not something you hear all the time here. Uh, anyway, yeah, folks, um, I just also want to shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, guys. You guys have been kicking butt. Um, because of your support, sometimes I like to peel off their skin. Um, you know, this has been peeling off for a while right here. And, and I, it's just like a little thing. This one's not ready, I guess not. But I like to peel off the spikes. It's just kind of a little thing I do. There we go. See? You want to make sure you know that it's, it's ready to peel off. You don't want to hurt them. So I just helped them out a little bit because I imagine that it's probably a little annoying to have skin falling off you. So you just rub it and it just peels off. Not like a snake. These guys shed in patches, but very, very cool animals. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, listen, um, Patreon. Uh, thanks so much for your Patreon support, everybody. Um, very, very cool, and I appreciate all your help. Uh, I love it when um, we're able to do some fun stuff for you and Patreon's been great because there's been some uh, interesting things we've been throwing up there. So if you haven't already, you may want to check it out. Um, we do live chats once a month where it's just me and a few people. So I don't know if you guys are interested, but go on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan if you are and uh, you can help support the channel. Uh, yeah, Dave, I am colorblind. I need to get those glasses. Ryan. Polito, found you recently after adopting two sulcata hatchlings. Any plants or weeds uh, or weed treats that you recommend? Now, I don't really know the names of the weeds. The tortoises seem to know what they like. All I suggest is if you let them out or you pluck some weeds, that you make sure that the weeds have not been treated with any chemical fertilizers, all right? So you just want to make sure that there's nothing that can harm the animals when they ingest them. Uh, look at her. Look at these two. Oh, there's a nice big weed there. Oh, good boy. So very, very cool. I, do, I love this. I mean, I could watch this all day. Um, and I'm glad that they're doing this right now. Um, very, very cool. All right, Michael is off to work in Australia. I hope you have a great day down under, mate. He's an ambulance officer. I hope you have a slow day, buddy, and that nobody needs an ambulance. But if they do, I hope you get him to safety real quick. Thanks for all the work you do down there, man. Have a great day. Uh, let's see, Purple Sammy, Purple Sammy X, Oxford, UK, there you go. Your life is my dream, I love your channel, and Slinky is absolutely gorgeous. Wish I had animals like yours there in England. Well, thank you so much. England's a great spot, been there, uh, I was there in 1999, November of 1999. I was in London, Heener, Nottingham, Bristol, and I stayed in Clapton. So there you go, I was uh, hanging out there. I love England, I love the people. And uh, hopefully we'll get back soon. Um, who knows? I know that there aren't many reptiles up there, but you still have some friendly people and an interesting history. So I love to learn and go on up and meet as many people as I can. Now, she's getting adventurous. She's kind of checking out that area while the male here is just kind of hanging out. Uh, very cool. Heather Shirley, Lumpy is doing a little bit better. If you've just joined us, Lumpy's doing a bit better. And uh, right now he's just in the garage relaxing. And uh, I'm going to have to feed him soon. Uh, all right. I'm live today because I clicked the bell. We are fuller. Very cool. Very cool. Glad that works. Yeah, guys, don't forget to click that bell, man. Hit that notifications button so you can become part of the notification squad and know exactly when we upload here on the channel. 
Uh, that would be a big help. Hope you guys like the channel, like what I'm doing. Um, just basically showing you a little bit about my life here. And uh, there you go. Uh, Kenny Dave, I actually have some wild tokays I've seen here in the past. Um, none that I keep, but there are some that I run into from time, uh, time to time, time and time again. Uh, Darren S., thank you. Hi, I'm from Southampton, and I'm Darren Stubbs. Well, thank you, Darren. Uh, Southampton, I'm guessing that's Southampton, England. Uh, and I remember a skate park, South Sea. I think it was in Southampton. Uh, South Sea Skate Park. I've never been, but I always wanted to go when I was riding my BMX bike because there was always a really cool competition there in England. Uh, a lot of good BMX riders out of England, and I do enjoy them. Some of them, some of my best friends. Shout out to Zach Shaw, one of the uh, greats, you know, from Britain. And uh, there you go, a little BMX heritage there. Uh, I'll give Slinky a pat for you there, Diane, no worries. I was working on his enclosure today, just making it a little bit more purdy. You want to go over and see him? Let's go over and see him. These guys seem okay. I'm going to be quick though. So I drained out his pond and filled it up again. There are the snow leopards. I don't know how, we got to remember that the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't work so well, but basically what I did is I cleaned out all the, all the schmegma that was building up at the bottom. There it is right there and we fill, we're filling it back up. But I also added a fresh bunch of mulch to it as well. I don't know how long this will last, so I'm, I'm really not gonna spend a lot of time here with him. But um, there's the mulched area, there's, there he is, the handsome guy. Slinky, how you doing, dude? Not the lag cage, I hear you, fishy boy. Because I did a lot of work today, I was busy. Very busy man, so uh, that's what I did. All right, so there you go. Uh, let's see, we got another donation, thank you. Um, from Jason Conley, do you think it's too cold up here in Tampa for raising? No, I think you can do it. My buddy Anthony Furlong has a bunch of cyclora up in Tampa, and I uh, just got to have the heated houses for them. Here are the blue iguanas, the Lewisai iguanas. These little ones are going to get a new home soon. I've been in touch with a company out of England that makes a really cool wire, and there's some baby sulcatas. I'm still, uh, these are all that I have left. This guy's got food in his mouth. So here are some baby sulcatas. If you're interested, email me at campkennan at gmail.com uh, for the baby sulcata details. They're $50 plus shipping, shipping $75 across the United States. Uh, I do not ship to uh, Hawaii or Puerto Rico, but um, I do ship everywhere else. And the shipping is $45 within the state of Florida. Here are the uh, really fun little snow leopards. And there's Willy Wonky. Yeah, Willy Wonky. And there's my boy, there's the male. So everyone's doing really well today, pretty excited. There's everybody. We can kind of go for a walkabout. These two are still doing their thing up. Oh, look at her. She's kind of moving over here and he's just tearing everything up over there. That's all right. Uh, yeah, so, you know, good times, good times here today. We got bromeliads growing out of the rocks. This grass is growing together. I kind of like that I'm creating a jungle in my backyard here. Just imagine in five years, a lot of these plants are going to be super duper mature and just big and shade this. So pretty pumped, um, pretty pumped. Can land turtles survive in Europe? Depends on the species, guys. Um, and they're obviously going to need some supplemental heat and so on. But here we are at the back waterfall. It's looking pretty good. And uh, everyone's doing well. So really, really happy with my ponds. I just love it. I love living here. Thank goodness um, we got it going on here. And here, look at this. The bromeliads are really taking off, everybody. I don't know if you're into botany. Oh, come on, look at her. Doesn't she look amazing? A rock iguana on a rock. Is that not the coolest? I think that's cool. You look so picturesque, young lady. Look at her, man. So cool. Oh my gosh, you're gonna collection universe. You're gonna have to go back and watch the build on how we built this pond. It's a few videos ago. Uh, back in February, we built this, so there's a whole thing. Um, very, very cool. All right, I love the fact that she's on this rock. I love it. I always envisioned when I built this wall of letting the lizards wander around and do their thing, and now she is doing exactly what I imagined, and it just makes me happy that the animals are calm enough they aren't trying to run away they're just doing their thing so yeah julie story yes she is a little bit of an instagram model ha i like that except i think her she's got the cutest butt on instagram don't you think all right dum dum okay let's go over here and walk on down 
Ugh. Walk on down, look at that. Oh look, she's kind of scenting the rocks. She, they'll rub on things and leave their scent on them. And uh, that's how you know they like the area. Oh, and that sun shining, so she just sprawled out to soak up as much as possible. Very cool. Let me sit down again. Come on over here, see what Guapo's doing. Sometimes it's hard for me to actually read the comments. Oh, and I gotta be careful because this dang phone overheats. We remember that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start winding down, okay? Um, let's go over here. I can actually crouch down and just watch him do this thing. All right, but we're gonna get overheated here in a little bit. Uh, the lunatic Iggy's, they're fine. I just leave them alone. Um, they need to grow up a bit and I need to get them an enclosure that I can get in and just relax in there with them because that's how I was able to tame up these lizards. So um, there you go. Uh, let's see, how do I feed all my animals? Oh, a lot of work. Uh, how did I come up with the name Guapo? I figured since he's uh, Cuban and they speak Spanish in Cuba and he was so good looking that I'd just call him Mr. Handsome. So he's Senior Guapo is his full name and Lola comes from the... Uh, I think there was a movie called Lola, or was that Lolita? I don't know, but Lola seemed like a nice name, you know? Uh, I think the Kinks had a song, they're from England. La 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 Lola, la 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 Lola. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm not the most passionate guy, but yeah, you gotta watch that song, Google it, okay? There you go, I'm not a singer. I ain't a singer. Uh, Blue Dragon 99 hi, I recently found your channel and loving all the content you're throwing out. Did you study animal care at school? Did you do your own research? Um, I've been working with these animals since I'm about, well, six years old. He's still pooping. And um, to be honest, a lot of what I learned was through reading and uh, just working with the animals, a little trial and error. So that's why I love doing the channel because you guys can learn and we all learn together. Um, I tend to be the type of person that goes out, meets people that know more than me. Um, I like hanging out with people smarter than me because I can really learn a lot from them. So I've been fortunate since I've been down here in Florida to be good friends with a lot of zoo professionals, scientists, conservationists, and I like to pass along my experience and everything I've soaked up from them to all of you guys. So um, I'm not against school. I think school's fantastic. It's just my life took me in a different direction. I was a sports broadcaster, a BMX rider. The only other thing I loved were my animals. And she likes my toes. She can lick them, no big deal. She's gonna come up and hang out on me. Are you gonna come hang out on me? It's okay, see, she's rubbing on me. That's how you know these animals love you. When they think you're part of the scenery. Are you gonna come right up on me there, kiddo? Come on. How cool is that, huh? So she's just gonna wander over me and wipe her butt on me. Thanks for wiping your cloaca on me. That's nice. I don't see any poop though. So that's cool. She's a clean lizard. Um, but anyway, that's what I kind of do, you know. Um, it's not easy to take care of all these animals, um, but it's a job that I love. So for some people, it's easy. Um, I, I don't know how to answer that. Um, some people see what I do and they think there's no way they could do it because it's a lot of work. Uh, they see me sweating out here, they see me doing all kinds of hard labor, but I love it. So for me, it's not always easy, but it's enjoyable. And the, if you do it in a smart way in which you don't overcrowd yourself with animals, large enclosures, living out here in Florida is helpful. Um, it can make it easier. I did have these animals when I lived up in New York when I was younger, and it was more difficult back then, um, you know, I found because of lighting and other things like that. Um, so there you go. Um, cool, man. Uh, let's see. I love to watch them walk. But I guess it's going to be time for me to wrap up soon. Um, have I ever got any tips from musk turtles, Darren Esk? Uh, you know, the, you got to give me specifics, bud. Um, uh, the tips are they're great species. They're small species most of the time. Um, they're, you know, they like to clamber around the bottom. So make sure that you have something they can easily get to the top of the enclosure or uh, to the surface so they can breathe easily. Um, I have seen turtles drown uh, from not having adequate uh, basking areas or ways to get up to the surface. So that's important. Um, but beyond that, they're just a really cool species. I like them, um, really cool turtles. And you see these guys, they're kind of wandering a little far away now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We've been on a half hour, everybody. That's a half hour of hanging out with you all. I appreciate it. Uh, there's Guapo, Lola's off to my left. And uh, I just wanted to remind everyone, or rather just say thanks for all the support here on the channel. I hope you guys have a great, um, 
you know, a great time. Yeah, habituated, tame equals habituated. These animals, I wouldn't say they're tame. Uh, I would just say that they tolerate me and we get along and we seem to have a good working relationship. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to the sign off. Thanks so much for your support, everybody. If you want to do more, uh, like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, head on over to patreon.com slash camp Kennan, and uh, you can become more involved with the camp. As always, more things coming our way. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I'm going to sign off and get these little lovelies back into their enclosure, and uh, new videos Saturday and Sunday. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.